if you want to purchase them you can find them underneath a video it's going to be under uh, I believe I'm going to leave a link for Amazon and if you buy them from there I can get a like, little tiny it's not much money but it's something at least uh, that uh, goes for my commission okay if you have any questions send me an email and or questions thank you bye bye how you doing? This is the, uh, my name is Oscar Moran and I work for ACB on. We're going to continue where I left off in the last video, okay? I already explained the way it was the wiring diagram with the pictorial, okay? Now we're going to do with the uh, ladder schematic, okay? I will do it over there, but over here it's easier. Now, mm -hmm. okay? Well, this is three lines. This is your step down transformer. This will be your terminal strip. Okay, this is your Y1. This is your G and the two comments. Okay? Right, hold on. Now hold on too. Okay. Now this is your terminal strip. That's what I left before. Okay? On the pictorial hand, Y1. Oh by the way, this is your guess will be your connections. Okay. Right. okay, now we're going to have one wire will go to the lower switch. Okay, the other wire will go to the high pressure switch and we'll go to the coil. And that's it. Now remember for the symbols, if you can remember watching the other videos where I talk about the uh, symbols. That means that the LP, which is low pressure, HP is head pressure, and this will be your, your contactor coil. Okay? So now what happened is, call for cooling, low pressure switch is good, high pressure switch is good. The compressor contactor coil will close. So now we're going to play with this in here. This is your compressor. And this is your three phase. Line. Okay. So, CC1. Okay, you got CC, then you have CC1, CC2, CC3, and this will be your compressor. Excuse me. If you remember over here, we have the legend. Okay? Now we have, we know the LP has low pressure. We have HP, is high pressure okay then we have CC we have a contactor coil Con contactor coil contactor and you have your C which will be your compressor okay now so far we're good, okay. Now we need a fan. Fan will be just a fan. Coil. Um, put an EC on that one. That will be your evaporator contactor. Evaporator. Contact up coil. 
Okay. Now, since we have AC, there's the coil, and remember, there will be like this. Will be a contactor, three poles. So you have right here. You have okay. Now we have line two and line three. So remember we have EC, so it'll be EC1, EC2, EC3, and this will be an E. Okay? So now we have the coil here in the bottom of it, the coil, coil energizers, close the contactors, one, two, three. The evaporator fan motor comes on. Okay, so that will be your E, and that will be your E. That's your evaporator motor. Okay. Now on the other video, I was saying that probably did it backwards, but I'm sorry about that. But on the other video, I did the pictorial wiring diagram, but now. This is your ladder schematic, and remember where we had the wiring on top. Okay, so now it was one wire. We'll go this way. Contactors. Coil. That's it. And this is your, it's called the auxiliary. So you put it in a UX on that. Okay, now we know the auxiliary, and this will be your condenser. Let's see uh, CF on that, condenser fan contact, okay? So we're going to have same thing here. We're going to have another one here. This is your condenser fan motor. Okay. So now, CF will be CF. One, CF two, and CF three. Okay. Now I talked talked about it before. This is with the auxiliary. Okay. The auxiliary contactor. The contact is actually these right here. This is a contact. So to, to say that it is a contactor, it says three poles. It has four poles, but you don't consider say four poles. This is a you know it comes out. It's an auxiliary. So what happened is when you call for cooling. One one comes on, call for cooling, low pressure switch is good, high pressure is good, compressor contactor coil pulls in, pulls in, so this one, CC1, 2, and 3, pulls in, compressor comes on, and at the same time, when the contactor pulls in, it closes the auxiliaries. On the auxiliaries, we actually think this wire to normally open, when you get power to it, it's going to close, so it's going to energize another contactor, Condenser fan motor, another contactor. So CF will be will pull in. So CF is going to pull one, two, and three. That means the the uh, condenser fan motor is going to come on. Okay. Because so let's see. Uh, so it'll be CFM, and this will be FM as your condenser fan motor. Condenser motor. Okay, this kind of fan motor. So what's going to happen is, like I said before, energize the, the compressor contact coil. Compressor comes on, the auxiliaries close the auxiliaries. The condenser fan motor comes on, and of course your evaporator comes on also. But you have to remember that you have to visualize the wiring diagram with no power. Okay. We have to get, think about it. There's no power. You have to visualize what happens when this closes. Okay, you have to remember that. Okay, and this will be your typical wiring diagram. Uh, it's a three phase unit, a water, uh, air cooled condenser, and this is pretty much the typical wiring diagram. Later on, we're going to talk about the more safeties in there. And plus, also, we're going to be doing Pressures and temperatures. Later on, we're going to talk about the uh, relationship between them. Uh, don't forget to subscribe, 
at uh, ACB on, on YouTube and also on Instagram and also the website is not on running it's not running yet but I'm working on that too okay and uh, that's it and goodbye